of Between Two Eagles. I'm running out of eagle jokes, so we're moving on to birds in general. When should you buy a bird? Well, when it's going cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Today we have special guest Deanne Woida. Thank you for being here. Uh, tell us, what do you do here at Elma High School? Well, I am an English teacher and I am the senior class advisor. And I've been the senior class advisor since 1990. Yeah. Yay. Very cool. Awesome. Um, I hear you have some announcements about uh, Senior Parent Night. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we're going to have our modified for the COVID-19 uh, system, uh, Senior Parent Night on Monday, that, uh, November 16th at 7 p.m. It will be a recorded video with information from the counseling office and from Ms. Hiles about yearbooks and I'll be talking about graduation materials and other things. So we hope everyone can join us at seven o'clock on the 16th. And after the recorded video, there'll be a live Zoom for uh, answering any questions. All right, um, do you have any other senior updates for us at this time? Not really, we did last night choose the graduation announcement, so I'll be able to show you that in the video and uh, that'll be part of the, the uh, ordering process. Fantastic. Cool. Thank you for coming today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Miss Moida. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. All right. Uh, so next, we're going to talk about EduGuide. Uh, Mr. Azanen, what is EduGuide? Well, we know that you guys are, are working very hard on your schoolwork. If you're not, I know you're kind of getting into that zone right now, and I love that. But we want to provide something that's just a little bit different, just to give you an opportunity to pull back from just the daily grind of your schooling and do something else that's going to give you an opportunity to kind of look at yourself and, uh, um, and, and answer some, some, some questions, some simple questions, just an opportunity to do something different. Nice. Um, so is this something that is an app? Can I do it on my computer? What, what does this look like? That's a good question. It is actually an app. It comes right off of your phone. If you don't have a phone, um, you certainly can use a computer to do this. And when you're responding to these cool videos and things that, are, that, um, that you're going to watch, um, you'll have a coach. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about coaches? Yeah, so I'm actually a coach. Um, I'm excited for my team members to join me. Um, the one thing I want to say, obviously we haven't started it yet, um, but I see it as an activity that's really just for you guys, for your own growth. And my job as your coach is just to be there for you and um, give you positive vibes and encourage you as we as we make goals together and, and learn more about ourselves. Um, I know that sometimes these reflections can feel very personal. Is there anybody else that would see that besides me as a coach? No, absolutely not. This is just an opportunity for you and your coach is the only one that's going to read the responses. And then, uh, um, and then reply with just some feedback, like that's really thoughtful or something along those lines. Just between you and the coach only. I don't see them, no one else sees them. Nice. Um, if I have questions about EduGuide, who should I reach out to? Well, you can certainly reach out to myself. Um, you can email me or call, and uh, yeah, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Fantastic. All right, um, a couple announcements. Food Bowl is coming up um, November 12th through the 24th, so starting next week. Uh, food Bowl, all food and money brought in goes to three food banks in our area, Elma, McClary, and Malone. Um, the two big events that we're going to be doing is a drive through food collection on the 13th and the 20th. So we're hoping that if you can give, you drive through between 8 and 4 and say hi to us and drop off some food or money. And then we will also be hosting a silent auction. The FFA group is doing that. And you can bid on those items the 16th through the 23rd. So we'll have more promotion about Food Bowl. Um, we miss you. We miss having you in class and being able to interact in those fun activities, but we're hoping that um, we can still raise a lot of food and money for our community. Well, I think I think in this time, this feels like a really special time to be to be donating if you can. Yeah. 
um, to help out those that are that are struggling through this uh, through our crazy pandemic. For sure. All right. Uh, now that it's officially November sixth, uh, mm. first quarter is over. What does that mean? Well, <clears throat> as you go back and you look at your first quarter grades, if it's if it's not looking like it's where you want it to be, we have a surprise for you. We are going to do something that I think we've never done. At least teachers that have been here for 30 plus years have, have indicated that it's never happened before. We're just going to say never because it sounds good. Yeah, and this goes never. <clears throat> we are, um, we're going to give quarter credit, 0.25 credit per quarter. So what does that look like? Here's what it looks like. They have a, when the semester is over, we'll look at your semester grade. If your semester grade is passing, then we're going to give you a 0.5 credit. That's how it's always been. However, if it looks like you're, if you're not passing at the end of the semester, then we're going to go back and we're going to look at your individual quarter grades. If you passed one of the two quarters, we're going to give you 0.25 credit, which is less than, that's less work that you're going to have to do than to make that up later when we do come back. Now the idea is, um, is that if you feel like you're just in a hole that you can't get, that you can't, you know, get out of, we just picked you up and lifted you out of the hole. You get to start fresh, right? If you have a if you have a fifty percent or a forty percent in that first quarter, we're still going to combine with your second quarter, right? We're not taking that away, so you'll be able to then get that second quarter grade up enough to get the point five credit. It's really interesting. Somebody has likened this to a to a game show, and I thought it was really good. How is it like a game show? Um, so in my mind, this sounds like one of those rare win, 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 win situations um, where it's almost like you're hitting a, a save button or a save stopper that you're, you're still going to collect as much as you can, but it's not going to hurt you in any way. Can't hurt you in any way. No. Can only help. Only help. Um, if you have great grades right now. Do I get a quarter credit? Absolutely. You get a 0.5 credit because you're going to have two point, point two five quarter credits that are going to add up to 0.5. Like, yeah. If I have a great grade now and my grade gets even better, will that go on my transcript? Absolutely. The, right. It'll still grow on each other. So you in no way can this hurt you. So if your percentage from second quarter brings your first quarter and second quarter totals up, that's what's going to be posted on your transcripts. Nice. Good questions. I, I like a win-win-win situation. This is a win-win-win situation. I don't know what the third win is, but it just <laughs> sounds good. All right, well, that's all I have on my note cards. Anything else? I just think that we, we keep moving forward, and uh, go Eagles. Go Eagles. Woo! Bye.